In recent weeks, there has been a battle brewing between members of the media and President Donald Trump and his administration in the United States. Here at home today in seven cities from coast to coast, CJFA, the Canadian Journalist for Free Expression, have been holding rallies demanding democracy right here in Canada. Journalism must be free if we're to have democracy. We have a free expression deficit in this country, and Canadians are simply taking these freedoms too much for granted. Holding signs and signing petitions, about 100 gathered at Trinity Bellwoods today as part of a national rally for free press in Canada. Right now, we have a reporter, Ben Maku, who's on trial, who is facing jail time for simply doing his job because he has refused to turn his notes over to the RCMP. And it is very likely that he could wind up in prison as a result of that. And that's in Canada. The under Trudeau, the RCMP wants to set a precedent whereby any journalist who speaks to any member of organized crime, any member of a suspected terrorist organization, they will be compelled to turn over the notes to the RCMP, effectively making journalism a branch of law enforcement. And if those sources dry up, Canada loses something that is key to our national security, which is the type of information that journalists can gather. Today's rally also standing with Canada's parliamentary press gallery, who is pushing back against a plan to have new reporters fingerprinted and screened by the RCMP before they can receive their credentials in Ottawa. What threat is there? When has a member of the press gallery ever posed a threat to the government outside of maybe breaking an embarrassing story? It's 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 ridiculous. It is the national security apparatus gone completely berserk. When it comes to the quote free expression deficit, many here today say the changes need to come from Ottawa, where the communications commissioner has already outlined some simple legislation which would make a big difference. If not, members here at the CGFA say they will continue to make their voices heard. At Trinity Bellwoods, Adrian Gobriel, City News.